we might want to give them a few moments. I don't think they really realize what was going to be asked of them tonight. Oh, here comes Taryn knocking into walls. And Seb. Nice to see you, fellas. You can get on mic if you'd like. Just uh, say hello so I know you're on. Yeah, yeah, I'm on, I'm on. Hello. Hi, Seb. Hi, Taryn. Karen's a little camera shy. We're going to give him a little minute here. Taryn, you crashing? Anyways, well, welcome back, guys. Let's talk about your second life in real life. What's going on here? <laughs> Anyways, the, these two fabulous people behind me, very, very uh, quick goers and always goers of castaways, very good friends. They um, very special people. I just wanted to bring them on, not to get too personal, but welcome back from, uh, where were you again? Las Vegas. No way. Yeah, we both got together over the weekend, and we were in Las Vegas. That's awesome. They, you know, you meet good friendships on here, and you wanna, you wanna. It's up to you if you wanna meet. But, Seb, give me a little lowdown on what what should someone do if they wanna meet a friend from here, you know, out in the real life. What are some pointers you can give people? Oh, geez, look. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I guess just, just keep expectations, you know, kind of realistic. And uh, we just decided to meet. I mean, it was going to go out to the West Coast anyway. And we were going to be in Las Vegas. So I asked Taryn to join me for the weekend. And we had a great weekend. We went and saw Cher last night, which was pretty hot. And uh, we had a really nice time. It was really it was great getting to know him in person. And we know each other obviously really well in here. So. But we walked into it with no no expectations. We just said, let's go and meet each other and have fun, and that's exactly what we did. You know what, Sub? I think you couldn't set it better. And I think, you know, your friends on here will give you some joking around, a little noogies on the head. But overall, I think uh, we, su we, support, we support this very much, and we're very excited and kind of maybe jealous that we wish we could meet some of our friends on Hero Life, too. But awesome job, guys. Thanks for coming out, and thanks for uh, being put on the spot so uh, eloquently. <laughs> Thanks, and, and I love that Taryn lost his voice magically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Taryn. All right, and I did call up Ready Set, and I'm sorry, Ready, I didn't uh, get to you. Uh, we're not going to get into real life and second life with you, but can you just spend one minute and uh, just announce what you've prepared guests here at the show and what they'll be receiving later on? You want me to tell them about it? I'd love you to, if you want to. <laughs> I have a limited edition, brand new, special made for this Fireflies t-shirt. It looks awesome. Thank you for doing all that work, you and Fran. Mm-hmm. All right, without further ado, let's get to the clip I'm talking about. Uh, Stroker Serpentine uh, couldn't make it tonight, unfortunately, but, you know, the clip says the story enough. It's about a five-minute clip, and then the show will be wrapped up after that. Please enjoy the segment, and... This could be one of you one day. Changed in Second Life. Early show national correspondent Tracy Smith is the first network correspondent assigned to cover this virtual world. And this morning she takes a look at the steamier side of Second Life. In real life, porn is a multi-billion dollar industry, so it's no wonder that in Second Life, an online virtual fantasy land where you can look and act however you want, sex sells. How big is the sex industry in Second Life? When someone new comes into Second Life, uh, it's probably the first thing that they want to explore. Kevin Alderman is a star in Second Life. His alter ego, or avatar as they're called, is Stroker Serpentine. Stroker's turned intimacy into an empire. Are you the Hugh Hefner of Second Life? I've been called a lot of things. That's one of them, yes. Kevin, or er, Stroker, makes and sells cyber sex products for avatars. This is our sex gen Black Dragon. 
His most popular item, sex beds, which allow avatars to cuddle, kiss, and even have sex with other avatars. How do you have sex in Second Life? Well, you're actually talking to someone else. And your products help the avatars to act out what people are either typing or saying to each other? Absolutely. And because it is a fantasy, it really allows people to to let down their inhibitions and do things and participate in behaviors and, and situations that they normally wouldn't even consider in real life. And that includes the oldest profession in the world. Yes, there are escorts in Second Life. Women and men who earn real money for virtual sex. And they're not tough to find. Just search the word escort and hundreds of people and places come up. But getting a Second Life escort to talk in real life is another story. Most fiercely guard their identity for their own safety and fear that their family and friends might find out. So the only way to get them to talk to me was to send my avatar in to the seamier side of Second Life. This sex club is run by Jean-Vive Hutchins, a popular Second Life madam. She charges 20 U.S. dollars an hour as a Second Life escort. But who is she in real life? Jean-Vive told me she's a wife mother of two who works in real estate and get this she's a PTA mom why would a PTA mom want to be an escort in Second Life when the laundry blocks your view of the TV and you're elbow deep in dirty diapers and hubby wants to know why he's second this is an escape from the mundane here in SL it's about me Jean Vive spends most of her money in Second Life but other escorts use it to support themselves in the real world <laughs> Take Jessica Holyoke. She's a lawyer in real life who used the cash she made stripping and escorting in Second Life to help pay for law school. But she's kept her Second Life hidden. While it may be embarrassing, even ethically troubling, there's a big difference between virtual escorting and real life prostitution. Cyber law expert Perry Aftab. Is Second Life escorting legal? Yes, it is legal. As long as you're not delivering real sex in real life, you're not touching somebody for money, it's just talk, and talk is always legal when adults are involved. Still, Aftab warns that there are always risks. Don't think that you're entirely anonymous. You never are. There's always a paper or electronic trail that will lead back to your computer. Jean Vive admitted that she does worry that someone could track her down in real life. She cringes at the thought of her kids finding out, but isn't ready to leave her second life behind. I'm going to have to get around to fixing this leak. Kevin Alderman has real life I'm kids too, who have out. a vague idea of what daddy does for a living. He used to own a plumbing contracting business, but sold it when his avatar struck it rich. So is it fair to say second life has made you a millionaire? Mm, it's fair to say. We'll be right back. Wow. It's a big world. And it's my... Well, as you can see... As you can see that... You can, uh... You can become famous with the sex on here, Flipper. <clears throat> so, alright. 